Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey at Ripe Color, and this is Nancy Jean in the Garden. And today is the reading for March 6th. Yes. And we read on five energies daily. The five energies that we read on are body, mind, spirit, grounding, and clarity. I read five tarot cards. Nancy Jean reads five crystals in the garden. We both offer readings. We both offer physical goods in the physical world. Uh, all the information is below. Uh, we would both appreciate it if you subscribed, if you became a member of our respective uh, channels. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, I, I said a different order than I usually do. I don't know. And let's get to the reading. I know I'm a little hyper today. That's okay. It's okay with me. Ah! Ah! <clears throat> Okay, I get for body, I get, you know, follow the path, follow your intuition, follow your gut, follow, you know, the, the, the vision that you have. Mm -hmm. For mind, this is interesting. For mind, I get like, you're going to be led. You're mm -hmm. going to be led. Because I, I always feel like this is illumination. So mm -hmm. I always feel like you're led toward the balance. You're led toward being fair. You're led toward the way it's supposed to be, the way things... Um, I don't know, we're kind of meant to be. Um, for spirit, I have him again. Um, so your spirit is like, yeah, yeah, let's get going. Let's get going. Because mm -hmm. you know, I always feel like that he just graduated from college and mm -hmm. um, he's super excited about like starting his business. He's super excited about moving to a new place. He's like super excited and ready and like, let's go. Like there's this energy of use about this mm -hmm. and, and um, quickness. For grounding, I have, this is, so this is a really, this is a good card for grounding. It's a four, so it's stability. Yeah. And it's really like stable thought, but not only stable thought, stable thought involving spirit. Because if you're sitting mm -hmm. in, a, in a state of meditation contemplation and it's like, okay, universe, I'm open. I'm open, show me the way. I feel like that's where the, the real grounding comes from. Mm -hmm. And then for clarity, I have like the king of clarity in a way. I mean, the king of swords is king of clarity, but I always feel like this is, to me, this is King Solomon. So, you know, King Solomon was able to like manifest things in the physical world, but he's also, he, like his intuition is really a part of him. And through that, he's able to make the right decision delegate the power and also really use his mind. And um, this is the card of Aries. So I just feel mm -hmm. like there's a Martian energy to it. So it's like, you know, there's this um, energy of I will, I am, I, you know, I'm doing, mm -hmm. there's that sort of energy. To right. It. That's what I get. Okay, great. Cause today you, this is the spirit and the spirit says spirit spiritual changes are happening right now right now and then you've got a lot of stones between marks like you have your grounding stone is between earth and air and in air it means be sure your thoughts are clear and an earth says you have many paths ahead but you will find the one that's clear and more is going to be brought forward for you so so you're ready to move and more is actually going to come to tell you which direction to move in. Mm -hmm. Once again, our mind is in that. Don't jump at the first thing we get. Mm -hmm. Think it through. and Because you're going to feel very impulsive. And especially when you get to your body card, because our body card, our body card, I'm sorry, our body stone. I read cards for a bazillion years, guys. It's in root sacral chakra and past and a little bit in water and a little bit in fire. It kind of hits the, big bunch up here when you get a stone that lands like that it's really important and for the root chakra it means connection with security in all physical forms and it says your energy is being freed by using your creativity mm. um it barely touches the past and it says looks to the previous forms that have served you which is great and this is to embody past memories and bring them forward and it's it's actually just a teeny bit in water. And that means that energy is moving forward. 
So you're moving forward. So this is great. This says, yes, spiritually, you're going to feel it. And energetically, you're going to be able to create it into this world. Mm -hmm. And the last stone is clarity, which is between the past and fire. And um, use the ideas you carry from your past and past lives that have been prior solutions. And uh, listen to your to past learned lessons to be aware. So what this is saying is you're tuning in. You don't have to, well, you can if you meditate. You don't have to consciously sit down and meditate into what what's going on in your past that worked. What's happening is things are being triggered in your life and the solutions you used in the past to move forward, you're going to have available to you now, which means you've, you've incorporated the lessons into your body. Okay? Yes. All right. Blessings. 